so two is now playing centre back. So this is what happens, isn't it, Adam? Last minute changes. Well, and we believe there's a funny reason for that. Well, I was going to say the, the Kendall secretary is just in form of the number five, uh, Martin Grundy's uh, misses his quarters <laughs> are broken. So uh, he's obviously dashed back across to Cumbria. So um, it's uh, Tom Russell. Um, that's coming pre-season against Boot or played in the FA Cup against Presswich Hayes a few weeks ago. Barry have an opportunity there. Appeals for a penalty against um, Tom Killifin. Yeah, half-hearted appeals, but he got into a good position there, found a lot of room, the ball over the top. That might be one of the key ways we can break through that Kendall defence. Left corner of the penalty area. Cross looking for the head of the Kendall number nine, James Bailey, but again it's cleared. It's now with Ryan Winder on the near side, he's crossed it in, and oh. Dan has lost the lost the ball there and gets out well. And luckily though the rebound wasn't dealt with either from Kendall, and the chance is gone for them. Not too sure whether there was a bounce on it that he wasn't too sure as Gilboy was looking to get through there. Woo. An opportunity again arises. Ball Berry just wide, and they would it's going to be on the near side for Abba Soto into the area. It goes headed clear, Gilboy on the edge of the area, and it, it cannons off Chris Rowney. I don't think he, he quite knew that that was coming. Brings into the far corner, and oh, it's going to be penalised there. And here's Tom Killifin, did really well there. Abba Soto. Looking to get across into the area it goes. Looking to find ahead of Briggs, but that's is out of play. Bailey Kenny. It's crossed again to the area. Kendall, they know how to, to put an attack on. Abasoto looking to counter that now. Here's Tom Killifin brought down. Referee not interested. Oh, here's Andy Briggs. Throw on goal. Takes the shot off this cheating. To the back of the net and 14 minutes on the clock Andy Briggs back in the start at 11 and back in the goals it's Berry Wad Kendall Town Mills on pick up your definition of end-to-end -end football wasn't it Kendall had a real opportunity there and Sarka just slipped and the number seven Ryan Window should have done better with his effort thankfully it was cleared Abs broke really well what a lovely ball through it was eventually to Briggs uh, you've got to give a lot of credit for Killifin in the build-up there. He won the ball. The referee could have stopped the game and given a free kick to Barry. I don't think he was going to give one, but play continued anyway. Wonderful through ball. And Briggs, you just think, when you have so much time to think about those finishes, they're not always easy. As uh, they look to get forwards. Long throw into the box from Gas Pete. Not see it too often. Here's our Soto. Cross it into the area off the side of the bar. Another good chance there for Berry. Alain Killifin with a header. Now Briggs finds Gilboy, halfway line. Looks to knock it on to Abasoto, who's going to do well to keep it in on this near side, steaming towards the corner of the penalty area, looking to get that ball across. Two Kendall defenders for company, and Sarko on the overlap. Looking to get past there, and he does, and it's crossed into the area, heading clear though by Kendall. And Sarka looking to push it forward. He's got Yorson for company and he does well. Although Yorson manages to keep it in as Jack Tinning comes steaming across. Referee deems that challenge by Sarka to be uh, a punishable one. He plays free kick into the area. There's the header and that's going to be a Kendall corner. Well done. It's corner on the near side for... The visitors into the area, it goes. He's got a player down. I don't think the referee was too interested on it there. We did well the last uh, long throw, didn't we, from Pete? All into the area for Ansaka. Looking to find a second header. Looking to find Briggs and Cheatham gathers. Briggs caught there. Referee didn't see it. Abasoto crossed into the area. Looking to find the back post for Gilboy, Briggs looking to nip it through, Briggs again finds Gilboy, Pierce for a penalty referee not interested, Gilboy with a cross looking to find Abba Soto, that's cleared Assault Kenny Kenny looking to intercept 
really of a player, Dan, Dan Lafferty, just Ooh. follow through there. Tom Cliffin's been caught, Abasoto is three on goal. I think the flag went up on the far side, so it would have been offside, hence why he was trying to play advantage. The referee thought, no, no, that's definitely a foul. And uh, he did so well there again. Uh, Killifin coming deep, knocking it on, and creating that space for Abs on the left wing. It's at home. Abasoto cross into the area, fires the header, that's cleared. Uh, nip through towards oh. Soto is Rowney on the overlap looking to get it back towards Tom Killifin massive shout for a penalty once again that's a third appeal turned down by referee Justin Walton forward Tinning fans head of Lanahan forward again Briggs Lanahan Briggs now of a Soto, left corner of the penalty area, takes the shot, it's blocked. There's Nsaka. Looking to get into the area and that's crossed. High wide and not very handsome. Yeah. Clear from Tinin. Oh, he's come really deep again, Briggs there, working for the team. Up to the right hand side for Lewis Gilboy, he does well. Looking to get the cross in there. Towards the back post of a Soto as well, headed clear by Russell. Now when Saka cross into the area, but again, wayward. They're trying to work it out how it works. <laughs> and so Jack Lanahan looks to get forward. Oh, it's a better opportunity for Killifin here. Takes the shot off the bar. Five minutes of time added on. His own player. It's always attacking, isn't it? Nice. Nice. The half-time whistle and very after 14 minutes, got the lead through Andy Briggs. Yeah, so we just kicked off here. Second half commences. No changes for either side. Berry now playing from left to right in that lovely white and blue kit. Scored slightly more. They scored just over, just under 20. Well, oh, goodness me. Again, Briggs appeared to be fouled. Because there was another Kendall player coming up in behind, it wouldn't have been a professional foul, but maybe that put the referee off. Anyway, here's the break here from... Yorson, it's gone, he's equalised! Oh, we did say he was the danger man, Steven Yorson. Oh, that's a good 25 yards out. Berry will feel aggrieved that there wasn't a foul on Briggs, but there's still a lot has to happen before the ball goes to the other end. And gosh, there's not much Tabernacle can do about that. The wingers are going to get those fouls on them. That's into the area again. <laughs> Briggs goes down. I don't think that was a realistic penalty appeal. Some of the fans in the south stand certainly did. A long one, good header from the captain Lafferty. Knocked on well by Killifin and Berry right back up the other edge of the, the pitch with Abasoto. Cutting in onto that left foot. Plays it across, goal, save. Can he get there first? No, the rebound's in! Briggs. Goal for Berry! And it's Briggs! Cometh the man, cometh the moment, and Adam. Yeah, indeed, a good rebound effort from Andy Briggs. And you've got to look at the south stand over there, and Benito Lowe might be sat in the stands, not getting on the score sheet due to injury, but Andy Briggs, he's, he's certainly making up for it, and he gets that rebound that gives Berry that 2-1 lead. Yeah, fantastic work, build-up work and eventually came to Obasoto on the left. He cut in, played it back, all three of our local sides, all winning at the moment. Very good to see. There's still a lot of way to go in here. Kendall have the ball on the edge of the area. Could have been a foul, but it's gone Barry's way. And now it is that man again, Yorson, who's on the right wing. Cuts in, there's a chance at the edge of the box. There might be a shot coming up here from Kendall. Comes into the area for Bailey. 
Oh, good defending. Excellent defending. Still not clear. And it's gone in! It is 2-2! Two -two. It looked to have been cleared, but what a beautiful spiralling header. Chooses to go left. The Gilboy's going there. Is it going to stay in? It is. Good turn, good control. Cutting inside, he'll want to cross it in, he can do. Gilboy headed on, all collided with Abasato there. And he is down, Briggs. And then, I think, Abasato. The yeah, he stopped play because of the head injury. It doesn't see Briggs is now back on the pitch. That's a good sign, as you were. Long ball from the goalkeeper. Yorson has it. Yeah, oh, he's done the goal. The, oh, and it's now 3 2. Yorson is on the score sheet for the second time. Another mix up there at the back from Berry, I have to say. Certainly wasn't a mistake. The second one perhaps could have been cleared better. The third one really was a mistake. And that is a bad foul from Christian Mather on certainly uh, Killiffin felt that one. Is he going to book him? I think so. Surely. Preparing to come on. Yeah, that'll be good. We're not seeing much of him. In comes the corner. Headed away from Kendall, but still in possession with Briggs. He curls it. Oh, and it's just over the bar. It wasn't the best cross, though. And it is onto the roof of the net. Waiting patiently as the corner comes in. Winder takes it, headed away by Lafferty. And then booted clear towards Gilbert. Somebody who's done well shoring up games. Pete takes it with his left foot. It's a decent one, that. Headed away. Still in possession with the Shakers. There's Lenehan, who we've not seen as much of in the second half. Avasato coming back towards Lenehan, who's going to cross it in. Oh, he missed it. Oh, there's a chance there to knock it on. Dilbury two, Kendalltown three. Alassane pops it in the box. Headed down. Oh, he's missed it. He's coming back for El Hassan. He tries the shot. It is blocked for another very corner. So he's made a, a decent in back. Oh, it's, it's missed. The shot's diverted. It's hooked clear somehow. Back again with Al Hassan. in by window a decent one good hands from Tamina punches it away he is down though it was quite a forceful challenge on him and now the referee's coming over to the Kendall bench I think I think he's gonna book somebody and it's gonna be the manager is it that's certainly one of the two uh, the manager is oh, his assistant just yeah, yellow card there. No relation to me. No. Put that on the <laughs> record. <That's fine. laughs> Rowney headed on and another wasted set piece. Goal kick for Kendall. But straight back up there from Kenny for Kendall. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's a chance now. Opening for El Hassan. Can he beat his man? No, he can't. Just saying there was possibly a little hand on his shirt. But it was all done in fairness. There's no objection from El Hassan. Berry take the throwing quickly to Insaka. Good ball in the box there. Headed away. And Kendall now break. Great interception from Rowney at right back. He's going to go long. And there's only kind of combo there. That's a good bit of pace. He's fouled. And it's going to be a free kick. That's another textbook yellow card. I think it's going to be George Thomas. Sorry, Ben. Comes in from Tinning, sorry. Goalkeeper gets there first. And it's back with Comba at the edge of the area. Good skill, beats his man. Plays it across goal again. Headed back. Headed away. Ball still alive, just about. Briggs with a shot deflected. Can the goalkeeper keep it in? He can. Throw in for the Shakers. Taken quickly, of course. Briggs trying to get on the end of it. It's a corner. Hope, yeah. Brownie and Jack Lanahan lurking. In it comes from El Hassan. Cleared, but he's missed the rebound there, the defender. There's a chance here. Lanahan knocks in. It's a good ball. Not back to the edge. El Hassan will gather. 
He'll want to get a shot in, perhaps. He's got two men to beat. He's done well. Now Nsaka. He's overhit the cross wildly, and it's a throw in. Potentially. There is chance, though, for Berry for it not to be a win. Can they get an equaliser? Ellison on the left wing, causing problems. The cross is blocked, though. It's going to have to be a long throw of some description. So where's Gas Pete when you need He's him? He's not there anymore, unfortunately, yeah. El Hassan. And Saka will deliver. Again, way too long. Goal kick. And the can't be long left now for the Shakers. Have an opportunity to get through there, and he's caught late. But Harry Brissett looking to get forward there. It's Briggs that was caught. Comba looking to pick it up. Play goes on. Oh, the Comba's cross didn't quite get to the feet. Referee having another look at his watch. And Saka, who will go wide with Al Hassan. Overlap from Nsaka, good running in this 90th minute. Flicks on, oh, he's just completely missed there by Hollins as an emergency striker. The ball couldn't quite get underneath him. Edge of the area, is he going to have a shot? He is, it's flicked up, blocked, and that is full time. Berry two, Kendall Town three. It's another home defeat, and the Berry players are on the feet. There's not an awful lot we can say tonight because for most of the game, Berry have dominated again.